Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to show you how to do this beautiful moss stitch blanket. Look at this. This is so much better if you do it with a thick yarn. Now the yarn I did this with was a chenille but you can use any chunky yarn at all. And look at this little brickwork effect that it has. This is a really simple stitch. It's easy to do. And look at this, it's so thick and soft. And the stitches just look like little brickwork patterns. One just goes in above the other, staggered along. And this is a really easy stitch for a beginner as well. And look at this, it just makes up this beautiful pattern. Each line is just staggered in between the other. And it's so that I love this stuff, it's really, really soft. And I put, this one has a little sparkle in it, but you can't really see it if I turn it to the light. But it does have a sparkle in it, and it's a snow white chenille. I got this one in Aldi, and I got a lemon one as well, and I've just done this little shell edge all around the blanket. Down the sides, I've just done a double crochet, just down the sides. And the shell pattern actually is on the top of it. And look at this. It turns out absolutely amazing. And I'm going to show you how to do this blanket. So grab your yarn. This one is a red chunky. I got this for $1.99 in Home Bargains. It might have been B&M Bargains actually. But any chunky yarn, I'll make this blanket crochet up really, really fast. And this one's really soft as well, squishy. And I'm going to get, the. I like to use the yarn from inside the bowl. It's a little easier. So if you just try and stick your fingers down the middle of it, down the middle of this and pull your yarn out like this. And we're going to start, I'll get the end. So to do this blanket, I'm giving you a tip. I'm going to do the chain, the foundation chain, in a size 10 millimetre. Then I'm going to use a size 9 millimetre to actually do the blanket. And the reason for using a larger hook, a lot of people are asking me, what can I do if my blanket turns in at the bottom? A lot of people are saying that the blanket goes into an arch at the bottom. If you use a larger hook, to do the foundation chain, you'll get bigger stitches on it so it won't turn in like this. It will stay nice and kind of loose so that you see it with this one, it's not tight along this foundation chain. So that's a good tip to do for your blanket stops it curling and arching in the way. So I'm going to use this 10 millimeter to do the chain and I will use the red the red nine millimeter to do the blanket so i'm going to start off with a slip knot you do your chain the length that you want to do it so a slip knot i'm going to wind a yarn around my fingers like this i'm going to tuck this tail end just tuck it through there like that and then take your fingers out and that gives you a slip knot you put that over your hook and just tighten it on now using this larger hook gives me a bigger stitch when I do my chain. So you do the chain the length that you want in an even number and I'll do my chain. I'm just going to do a sample for this. I did my big blanket with 60 stitches and I did 64 rows for this blanket. So I'm just going to quickly do this chain. There we go. I'll just do that. It doesn't matter how many stitches I have, as long as it's an even number. Now I'm going to change my hook. I'm going to go to my 9mm hook and do the rest of my blanket in this. This is a nice big hook to use with chunky yarn. So I'm going to chain an extra one, two chains. And we're going to go into the third chain in the hook. So for this, we're going to be doing a single crochet all the way to the end. Now, I've been asked by a group of American ladies to do this blanket, and hence you will have the USA terms first, and then the UK terms. So we're just going to wrap our yarn around and pull through. Yarn over, 
chain one, you're going to chain one, we're going to skip one stitch. So we'll skip one stitch in the chain and work into the next stitch. So do your single crochet and chain one. If you're in the UK, that's a double crochet and chain one all the way to the end. Skip one and single crochet. Chain one and you'll get this. So we're going to do this all the way to the end and then I'll come back and show you what to do next. And that gives you your little brickwork effect all the way along your chain. So we're going to work one, chain one, and skip one stitch. Work into the next stitch, just like this. Chain one, remember that chain one, and work into the next, all the way to the end. So I'll do that, and I'll come back and show you what to do next. So I've got to the end, I've done my chain one, so I'm going to skip that stitch and just work into the last stitch in this chain. Just pull it through. What we're going to do is, look at that, that gives you your foundation chain. We're going to chain two, one, two, and turn your work. So what you're going to do now is we're going to be working in the chain spaces, not the top of a stitch. We're going to be going into the chain spaces that we made on that last row there. So you're going to go into the first chain. This is it here and through these holes all along the blanket. So just look for the holes in between your stitches. So what we're going to do is we're going to do our single crochets. If you're in the UK, that's a double crochet. And we're going to do into the space. Just pull your yarn through, yarn over and through. Chain one and move to the next space. Just move along to the next space. Do your stitch. Chain one and along to the next space. And this is the row that we're going to keep repeating. And every row you do it, it will build itself up and it's a really quick stitch. Now I was asked to do this in a single crochet. You can do this in a double crochet if you're in the USA or a treble crochet if you're in the UK. So we'll just move along to the next stitch into the chain space, not the top of the stitch. Remember the chain one and move along to the next space and do your single crochet, chain one and along to the next space. So we'll do this all the way to the end of the row. When you get to the end, we are just going to, there we go, we're going into these spaces here, into all of these spaces in between the stitches and we'll work our way to the end we get to the end, we'll do chain two and turn and we'll work all the way into the spaces of the next row. And this is what you're going to repeat over and over until your blanket is the length and the, the height that you want. And look at that, it's really pretty. It crochets fast because it's a chunky yarn. You can use normal yarn, you can use any yarn to do this stitch. So when we've got to the end now, remember my chain one, and right into the end where we did our little chain of two that's here, just find that stitch and you've got to go into that. If you don't, you'll have kinks all up the side of your blanket. So there we go, we're going to chain two, one, two, and turn. And we're just going to repeat that row again. We're going to go into the holes, into the chain spaces in between our stitches. And we go, yarn over through two loops chain one and move to the next space. So in we go, yarn over, chain one and into the next space. Chain one and into the next space. And that's what we're going to do. And what the stitches does is it staggers one on top of the other and it looks like brickwork. And I know I've got a red hook here, but there's the V, that's the stitches and going into the chain spaces. And that's your chain space there in between. So off we go again. 
So into the chain space, straight in, pull your yarn through, remember that chain one and into the next stitch, all along your blanket. You can do this while you're sitting watching the TV as well, it's a great stitch, it's really easy to do and you can make so, so many things with it. So remember your chain one yeah. and then into the next space. So I'm going to get my blanket and show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like when you've done quite a few rows. Look how pretty it is. You can see how pretty it is. It's quite a compact stitch as well, but it's super soft. And it's a beautiful little blanket. And remember, if you use a larger hoop to do your foundation chain, your blanket won't curl under. And it's quite thick as well. Look how thick that is. And that red's really nice and bright. <laughs> I think the red and white would be nice, wouldn't it? And it's soft. Look how soft that is. And you can use any yarn, like I've already said. So give this a little try. And this is my blanket all finished. Make it as wide and as tall as you want. And look at that, it's beautiful. This is brilliant as well if you want to make like jackets, like outdoor jackets and cardigans. It's a nice sturdy stitch as well. And you can make picnic blankets with this. It's going to be brilliant for picnic blankets. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Just click on that subscribe button. And if you click on the bell icon, YouTube will alert you. They'll tell you when I put up another tutorial. I'd be gratefully, really appreciate if you subscribe to the channel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to post another tutorial on how to do this blanket in two different colours. I think you'll love it. And again, it will have US terms first. The group of people that asked me to do this are from America. So I have got to cater for everyone that watches. So until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.